Hi everyone and welcome to Craving Solutions. Um, so today we have this Nitro 5, Acer Nitro 5 laptop, that same no bootable device. We're gonna work on fixing this. Um, this was uh, really ridiculous. All we did was maybe add an extra hard drive and um, accidentally booted with, uh, with the wrong SSD drive the first time and once we tried to boot up a second time, somehow we lost our uh, boot files or something um, because it will not boot. Uh, so we're going to try to um, get the master boot record fixed and um, hopefully get the Windows uh, boot manager working again. So we're starting with a USB flash drive, um, just, uh, you know, using, um, you just can Bing it, go online and search uh, uh, Windows USB uh, restore the um, USB stick and you should be able to create one very easily. I'll put a link in the description. Now, um, all we're gonna do here is put it in and reboot. If I can get it in here, there you go. All right, control, alt, control, alt, delete. Okay, so here we're gonna hit next, prepare your computer, troubleshoot, command prompt, okay? Uh, the first thing, um, some things online, I've watched a lot of videos and tried to look a lot of things and again, nothing seems to be working for me. But um, I'm just gonna show you one of the things that I did try, um, which is the BCD boot and then um, X being the uh, where we're at right now, but it, that doesn't work. And so what we're going to do is try to do it with C, um, but I don't think I have C working right now. So. We're gonna go to disk part, okay? And we're going to type in list disk, okay? And you're gonna see mine is called disk zero. So we're gonna list volume at this point, okay? And um, um, so as you see right now, my volume zero has no letter, has nothing assigned to it, uh, even though, uh, this is the partition. So basically we gotta rename everything. Um, the current C letter is actually not the correct letter for that volume. Uh, it's clearly not my Windows volume. Um, I could show that a little bit later. But anyway, uh, I know I had it installed in the smaller partition, which is because I separated them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, select volume two okay and now we're gonna say assign letter equals and then we're just gonna make this this is uh, D is going our uh, is our flash drive so we're just gonna give it the letter Z just to get out of the way okay and then we're going to assign letter um, actually no select first um, and you can press the up arrow to get the previous uh, commands that you did so I'm gonna select volume one and then I'm going to assign the letter, let's just give this one F, okay? And then we're going to select volume zero and we're gonna give that, we're gonna assign that the letter C, okay? And then when you list your volumes again, you're gonna see that they're like this. Um, um, now we can make, we're gonna select volume zero again but um, because of the type of partition this is um, some video said to make this active but it won't let us because it's an MBR disk it says it's not an MBR disk so it won't do it we're actually gonna go back to the disk part and um, we're going to select select part two uh, part two being the, the one that has my main operating system I'm guessing there's a main system a partition that's missing so that's why we're gonna be doing this so we're gonna select part two which is this one and then we're gonna shrink the desire to 1024, as you see here. And then uh, then we're gonna create a partition, EFI size 260. And then we're gonna do a format quick, um, and then uh, FS equals FAT32. And once we're doing done with that, we're gonna hit exit. And then we're gonna type the BCD boot, and then C colon slash windows, and the boot files are successfully created. Okay, everyone, uh, we're back. It's working. Uh, that's all we had to do. 
Um, I hope this video was helpful to many of you. Uh, this took a lot of... I had to compose so much things together to make this work. I had so many failed attempts, uh, but this is what finally did it for me. Again, this was very ridiculous that all this just happened simply by adding uh, uh, another hard drive mistakenly, leaving the SSD, um, a wrong SSD inside, not making it not boot properly. And then when we put the proper SSD in, something happened files became uh, or partitions just vanished um, etc boot partitions and whatnot but uh, now we're fully operational and everything is working again um, be sure to like subscribe comment I this is probably a little bit of a longer video I, so I apologize but again uh, just doing my best to help everyone out as best as I can and I really really hope this benefits and saves a lot of you a lot of time uh, I could not find anything online uh, that was able to fix my problem. So I hope this fixes yours. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.